OBU seven apiece here in the early goings here of this second half. Uh, an impressive drive, and we'll see if the defense can pile on with that momentum and see if they can get this game back in their control. Well, before uh, Jason Berger cut out, he said he needed to see more off the tackles to the outside, and that's exactly what you saw in that last touchdown play. So the Bison are doing a great job of just stating uh, their momentum and coming out and executing. This is the first kickoff we have seen into the wind today, so we'll see how the ball is affected off of Trey Tolley's foot. And the ball drifts high up into the air. And the ball bounces, and OBU has the ball, I believe, and OBU will have another possession Nobody decided to go catch the ball for Bacone, and OBU comes away with it, and that's exactly what OBU needed, another offensive possession to come, and really just a heads-up play there by OBU and not so much by Bacone. Yeah, Bacone really just failed to uh, communicate with who was supposed to get the ball in that situation. Didn't expect the ball to go that far, and really right now they did a, a good job of just jumping on the ball and being there, but really just a short kick and actually OBU beat them to the ball because the ball was so high and short. And drifted up into the air, the first kickoff into the wind in the favor of OBU just going down and catching it as if it was an onside kick. So Blake Woodard will have the possession of the ball after just scoring. They're gonna try and take a shot here, going down the middle of the field. He has his receiver, Derek Sarowski. Touchdown, Bison. One play, one more touchdown for OBU. 13-7 now the lead. And just a great play call there to try and take a shot with that momentum and it paid off for the Bison. Definitely, that's what you want to do right after a turnover. And the Bison really just executed that play flawlessly and took advantage of the momentum that they got off the last turnover. Uh, that's exactly what Derek Sarowski brings to this team. Just those long, down the field, deep threats. Trey Tolley on for the extra point and it drifts way off right. That will be a no good extra point. So 13-7, not able to capitalize, but taking a look at the replay there, Josh. And Derek Sarowski is wide open. He just simply just beats the safety in the inside. And the safety was a little confused with trying to play over the top on Nico. But really, Derek Sarowski and Blake Woodard were just on point with that connection. So now we're going to try and go back down to Jason Berger here uh, momentarily to get his thoughts. And, uh, and Jason, uh, what is it like down there, and what are some of your thoughts on that first half? Thanks, JP. After that great display of offense and special teams, the screen plays have been the money-making pass plays when going against the win. But when going with the win, the Bison need to start taking shots down the field, which I think has been a reoccurring theme this season. Defensively, the rushing defense wasn't bad. In fact, they shut down Bacone in the first quarter with only 25 yards, and they also have 14 tackles for a loss in the first half. The secondary, however, was not expecting the Warriors to take advantage of the wind, which led to the Bacone touchdown early in the second quarter. The mental mistakes and ball security have caused mayhem for the Bison in the first half, but as we just saw, hopefully the Bison can turn it around here in the second half. Quite honestly, the Bison are the better team. They just need to start showing it. Back to you guys. 13 to seven is the score, and, and Jason, I believe you're right. OBU coming out in the second half, proving that they are uh, the better team as of right now. They have the momentum here at home on this homecoming, and they're gonna try another onside kick, and OBU has the ball. We'll see if it went 10 yards, I believe it did. OBU's gonna have the ball again on two consecutive onside kicks, and OBU, it's basically the exact opposite of how this game started with Bacone having offensive possession after offensive possession, this time OBU with their third straight. Yeah, it was very unconventional to go two play, two I'm in awe. Yeah. I'm in awe of how this game is completely turned around. And let's see if, if Coach Jensen decides to go downfield again. It worked out for him last time, but uh, that was also on, on the uh, backside of a mistake for Bacone. So 13-7, to OVU has the ball once again off of the onside kick. And Blake Woodard out on the field. They, he will have three receivers to his left. And he has Jordan Barnes in the backfield with him. 
a really unconventional onside kick also. It was in the air the entire time. It did not bounce, and OBU went and caught it. And so another offensive possession now for OBU. Jordan Barnes back to the right. They hand it off on a counter play. He makes a cut and maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of one, I believe, is where they'll spot it. So second down and 11 to come for OBU. Now, because of the missed extra point on that last touchdown, depending on how this drive goes, it could hurt, come and bite them in the butt at the end, depending on if the score is really close. But, man, that, that kickoff right there, that onside kick, was absolutely astounding. No one else was expecting it. Especially after the last kind of mishap there by Bacone on the last kickoff. Nobody was expecting another kind of try to go at it uh, to get that ball back, but they did. So some trickery some trickery out of both sides today. Uh, the fake punt by Bacone in the first half resulted in a first down, and now it is OBU. And really just a gutsy call to go for the second onside kick by OBU. Stephon Turner joins Blake Water in the backfield, and this time slips out into the flat, has some room, and goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line of Bacone, and another first down for OBU. And Stephon Turner out of the backfield one more time, Josh. Yeah, OBU's doing an absolute great job of taking advantage of the secondary of Bacone, considering Bacone is the 13th ru best rushing defense in the NAIA. They're really exploiting their weaknesses on the, in, during this half. First down and 10 for Woodard in this offense. A handoff to Jordan Barnes, and Barnes picks up one for second and nine. So pardon me, Stephon Turner on the carry. Eight twenty-five here to go in the third quarter. And during the first half, OBU didn't do a bad job of moving the ball because they got 160 or 100 yards on the ground against this 13th ranked uh, rushing defense. So they were doing a good job. They just weren't getting the ball in the end zone. But OBU's really just decided to change up their game plan. This time a handoff to Jordan Barnes. Barnes trying the left side. It's taken down around the 38 yard line. Uh, some first half stats, or pardon me, some current stats. Blake Water, 10 of 16, 106 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Barnes, that 17th carry, takes him over 90 yards on the day. Dawson Myers, seven carries, 30 yards. And Derek Zorowski, one catch, 35 yards and a touchdown. Dawson My or, uh, excuse me, uh, Jordan Barnes is just doing a great job of pounding through runners as he's averaging 5.3 yards per carry. So he's doing a great job against this uh, 13th ranked rushing defense and really just exploiting those linebackers. A false start on OBU will mark them back five more yards. And this game in, in no way is over after OBU's momentum. Uh, Bacone's still within a touchdown. They have the wind with them if they do get the ball on offense, but seven minutes here to go, and they have yet to touch the ball here in the second half. And it's going to be a handoff, Dawson Myers. Dawson Myers tries to shake off a tackler. Instead, gets taken down in the backfield. And that time, it was number 13, Marcus Smith, coming from the defensive back position to take down Dawson Myers. Yeah, really just a terrific physical tackle from a safety that you don't really see that often. Dawson Myers was trying to shred, shred his tackle, and he just would not have any of it and just brought him down to the ground. So OBU after the... Onside kick will have to punt it away with Jared Haynes on this fourth down and 13th. 